back to New Day Northwest from the AAA Travel Alcove. Well, when it comes to getting your home or living space ready for winter, there are several small projects you can handle without a lot of fuss, right? Yes. Here with the five projects that don't take a lot of time or cost a lot of money, please welcome from Seattle Handy Women, PJ Kong Bong Chat. Did I get Kong it right? Chat. That's right. <laughs> okay. And it's a tough one to say. It is, but this is not tough, is it? We no. can all do this. Yes. I'm looking here at all of these things on the table, and I know what that is, but I don't know what a lot of that is. Okay. So do you want to start to talk us through it and then we have sure. some photos later. Why don't we go from here? We have the gutter. So mainly with the fall and the rain, the leaves falling down, gutters can be jammed up, right? right. So this is a little tool you could climb up on the ladder, scoop the leaves out. And why is it important to scoop the leaves out of the gutter? Why can't we just leave them all winter? Well, if the gutter gets filled up, that water could overflow okay. and then saturate your roof okay. or eave and then you have mold issue. Gotcha. So, yeah. Big so it's bad good problem. To clean the gutter. Okay. Um, this is a cheap one, but you could have like leaf guard. This one you just put down in your gutter where the downspout is, and it just guard from debris going down so water can oh. flow. Okay. And then here's a new one. Um, your downspout. It's coming down. Detach the bottom. You could. There's little clips here. Put the screws in. And this, what this does is all the leaves and the debris could fly out, out and water then could go down. This one seems to be a lot bigger and wider than that one. So does it matter? Do we need to measure? Well, this is up on the, in the gutter okay. up top with the spout. This so they, goes down. that's like a little two inch hole gotcha. or something. Gotcha. And this one is mainly for the trap coming down from the spout itself. Okay. Downspout itself. Okay. You don't put stuff on the roof, on the, roof. The, on, on the bottom. Gotcha. So important, clean out your gutters yes. prior to winter. Yes. When the rain starts. And the other thing is, I just bought a generic hose bib. So with the winter coming, you want to either drain down your hose bib. Right. So it doesn't freeze, and usually the pipe would just freeze and bust, and you mm -hmm. have a flood. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a shutoff valve in your house, mo most of the time older homes would have it. Okay. Shut off the valve. Go bleed your air out, the line out, so by turning it on, and then the water then would just come down. Because the older hose bib won't have a vacuum breaker. This prevents water from being trapped inside. I feel like I'm learning a lot of new terms here. <laughs> vacuum breaker. This is good. This is good. <laughs> Handy women. And this is the faucet cover. I have one of these on every single one in the winter, so we do yes. know what these are. And these are important to insulate, right? Very important. But the most important thing I think I should remind the viewers is detaching your hose, right? your garden hose from the, from the summer, okay. detaching that before you all do all this and then use this to cover it up. And that's important because you don't want water stuck in the hose that yes. can stack and up and yeah. freeze. And then right. Then you have a big problem. Yes. Another thing you're talking about insulating is insulation pipe. Okay. You could insulate your pipe. So let's say you have copper pipe in your garage or crawl space. Uh, you just simply, this you get the home home store or whatever. Um, just take it. Here's the pipes probably hanging somewhere. Just clip that on. And now we'll insulate your pipe. And you go. That's so easy. Would we so see cheap. these pipes out and about in our garage? I don't know if I've ever noticed a pipe. If your garage is not covered by drywall insulation, oh, then you, you might be able to see. If gotcha. you can see these pipes, cover them up. Okay, but if you can't, don't worry about it. Yeah, it's, it's insulated in your yeah. wall. Okay. And I just bought a different pipe. Another thing is when you're now going towards the window, a lot of time cold breezes come through mm -hmm. into your window. So taking out the molding from the inside, putting the spray foam in between the cracks will prevent oh, yeah. that breeze coming in. So not only is it more comfortable for your home, yes, you're it also saving saves energy. money. Yes, yes and energy, and energy. Money. That's right. Smart. And, and I see next, caulking over oh, here. Yes, that's, as we're talking about windows, you could walk around the outside of your house and just look. Most of the time, they have to caulk around the seam, mm -hmm. the molding. Sometimes it will shrink or deteriorate. Okay. So mainly just, you know, remove it, the old stuff, mm -hmm. put in the new when it's not raining. <laughs> so you better do More it now. Likely. Yeah, right? <laughs> um, Quickly. And that will help you to winterize your home. Okay. And the last thing I have here is for your doors. I just bought a sample. You could buy this. And you cut it to length. So in your okay. door jam, when you open your door, yes. there is an insert in there. So it has weather stripping. Okay. All you have to do is peel the old one out and then just stick the new one in. 
Easy and peasy. That's it. And you're going to save so much time, money, and headaches later. You know, this is so interesting to me because I think a lot of people look at home improvement and winterizing and things like that as very daunting. I know I do. It's something I think, mm, no, no, not even going to touch it, not going to go there. But you know a lot about this, and do you find that a lot of people don't do this and it's important? Like what kind of projects do you do and what do you see most? Um, what I see most is the hose bibs. Mm -hmm. I, mainly I'm doing plumbing now, but the hose bib busting because they didn't winterize it. They right. didn't have a cover. They had the hose connected to it. And you go out there. And, and even here where we don't right. get a ton of snow and get freezing cold weather. I mean, it's, it's a pretty mild winter compared to a lot of other places yes. that have harsh winters, but it's still important for us to do. Yes, yeah. and sometimes the pipe's so old, it gets mm -hmm. thin, because you know the, the volume of water going through your house. So it kind of erodes your, your pipes a little. So that helps too. Like, to break it, okay. <laughs> to break the pipe. <laughs> These are, well, and we definitely don't want that to happen, do we? These are all really, really good ideas, and you could probably get all of this done in one day. Depending on how big your house is. Right, but yeah. true, true. But I mean, one it's weekend. not a super long week long no. project to get this not done. Not at all. It's just take a look around, see what needs to be done, do it, and you're all good to go, right? Yeah, and I, I do have to add a little bit. If you don't feel comfortable on a ladder to climb up and clean, hire somebody. They'll come out and that's Blow the leaves off your gutters and you don't have to worry about it. Like Seattle Hand Women. <laughs> Get her. Right. Right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much. I want to give you a high five because I love women that know yes. how to do stuff. That is, it's impressive. Thank you Thank for teaching you. us. Thank you All for right, having me. All right, still ahead, how to choose a roofing company you can trust. What to look for after this.